Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Vision OS 1.1 Beta 2 is out. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. As you can see, it says Vision OS 1.1 Beta 2, and this came in at 481 megabytes on my Apple Vision Pro. This was released alongside a lot of other beta updates with iOS 17.4 Beta 3, Watch OS, Mac OS, TV OS, and HomePod OS updates as well, and also iPad OS. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go into our settings, and then if we go into settings, general, and then about, which I'm already there, you'll see the build number is 2 one zero five one eight eight C. Now I'll try and keep my head as still as possible as you'll see all of the movement is just from me speaking and sort of looking around. So last time it was a lot of movement. Maybe Apple will update this in the future to make it a little bit easier. But you'll see I'm just looking around to the environment. But again, it's hard to keep your head still just while speaking. With Vision OS 1.1 Beta 1, we got a bunch of new features to bring us up to speed with iOS 17.4, such as contact key verification, new emoji, upgraded personas. So if we go into settings, you can see my persona here. So if we go down, here's my persona that's been upgraded. It's going to verify with Optic ID. You'll see it here. So the persona has been upgraded greatly here and looks much, much better than it did before. This time around, though, we do have some other small updates where it's less dramatic, but basically some warnings. And you can see that once I updated, it says your Apple Vision Pro has been updated. And before we talk about the first new feature, this is what it looks like while you're updating a Vision Pro. So you have a little bar on the outside of the Vision Pro and then the little Apple symbol. As far as the first new feature, well, if you have your eyes too close to the display and it tries to use optic ID, it actually says too close to the display. So we can bring this very close like this, and it says this could increase the risk of injury in case of a fall or collision. Try the thicker N plus or W plus light seal cushion in the Apple Vision Pro packaging so your eyes are farther from the displays. So that's something that we didn't have with beta one. It will now warn you if your eyes are too close. Something else that they've updated seems to be in accessibility. And if we go back into settings, within settings, if we scroll down here, go to accessibility, within accessibility, we have voiceover and things. Many people have asked me what accessibility features are here. So here's a look at some of them with voiceover, Zoom, spoken content, audio descriptions. But if we scroll down here and we go to voice control and then maybe go to our commands, it looks like they've updated some of these commands. If we go into overlays, there's a bunch of different options. Some of these were here with beta one, but it looks like they're working on this with beta two. So dictation, text navigation, text editing, and much more. All of those are available. And if you want me to make a separate video, maybe about the accessibility features, let me know in the comments below. But we have many similar features that we have with iOS as well, audio and visual, sound recognition, and everything else. Pretty much everything, including motion, where we can reduce motion. You'll see it just changed the background and it reduces it a little bit, but not a ton. So it maybe makes it a little bit less shaky but really while you're using it like this, it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Let's turn it back on and see if it makes a difference though. And let me know in the comments below. Also, one other thing I wanted to share is if we go out of this and go back into our apps here and then go to environments, they haven't updated the environment yet. We still have coming soon for this one here. We also have coming soon for a beach scene. That's the one I've been waiting for. And I would love the option to add my own. Maybe they could give us credentials we need. It also has sound. So if I switch to Mount Hood, we'll give it a second. It switches and we have sound with this. Again, if I go back out and then maybe go to Joshua Tree, you'll see it switches. There's different sounds. And if I'm on top of a mountain, that's the one I used last time. In this one, you'll hear that there's wind. So with all of these different ones, it's very nice, but we don't have all of them. And it looks like they got rid of one and replaced it with summer light. And these aren't my particular favorite. It just changes the environment here. I prefer the overall environment. So hopefully they'll update this again with many changes. Now, anything else? Well, the one thing to note is the overall tracking seems to be much better, more precise with my fingers. Whether you're just scrolling through things, it seems not to lose where, what you're doing as much. I can tap on things very easily, go back and forth, and it seems to work really well. So definitely an improvement with this beta. Also, I haven't had a single crash. So going into different applications, whether that's Apple TV or something else, it seems to load fine, no issues here, and it doesn't crash at all. Now it may be a little bit slow because I'm screen recording at the same time, but in general, 
it's nice and fast, no issues whatsoever compared to the public version, which I actually had a few crashes and even had to reboot at times. So it definitely seems to be much better. Now, if we go into Safari and then we go to the latest public facing website with Apple's notes here, you'll see we have vision OS 1.1 beta two. So we can take a look at the release notes and you'll see the release notes here where they have resolved issues under general accessibility. They have the app placement feature we had last time where you can bring things a little bit closer. It seems app store submissions with known issues. Resolved issues in the control center, such as opening control center during tracking fail or while transitioning into travel mode will lead to the control center indicator disappearing. So they fixed that. There's more known issues where the control center indicator might be missing and you'll need to reboot your Apple vision pro. That's this control center icon here. So that's a little bit tricky sometimes to bring up, but if we click back here, we have immersive space, known issues, lock screen issues, Mac virtual display, known issues. So this update isn't perfect, but it seems to be better than before persona enrollment and much more. So a lot of things that they've resolved, but additionally things that there's still issues with. So I'll link this in the description. If you want to check it out yourself, as far as when to expect the next beta. Well, if we go into our calendar here, so let's find calendar. And if we go into our calendar, and you'll see today is Wednesday at the time of filming this video, possibly we'll have another beta next Tuesday or Wednesday, and then a beta following that an RC maybe at the end of this month or a public release at the end of this month. We don't really know for sure, but we do know Apple needs to comply with the European union rules with iOS 17.4 sometime by March. So within a few weeks, we should have a public release, I would think. And then we'll have concurrent betas, maybe vision OS 1.2 and move on to the next. So I'm looking forward to that, but there's nothing else really major in this update. So with beta two, it's more about refinement, some wording changes here and there, and that's about it. Now, if you found anything else in vision OS 1.1 beta two, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.